Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 31. In this video, the advanced puzzle solving technique called two string kite will be discussed. This video will be in two parts. The first part shows you the pattern we are looking for and how to find it in the puzzle, and the second part will test you on what you have learned. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. To find a two-string kite pattern, we iterate through each of the possible candidates. For each possible candidate, we go through all the rows looking for the first half of an X-wing pattern or conjugate pair. We found the first half of an X-wing pattern in row 6 of this puzzle. Once we find our X-wing half, we look at the two blocks containing each endpoint as outlined in red. Within the two blocks, we look for another X-wing half sharing a corner cell in the same block, but column-wise or perpendicular to the first X-wing half we found. We have identified a perpendicular X-wing half in column 7. The cells making up both X-wing halves are outlined in black as shown. Next, we identify the kill zone and non-possible candidate to be removed as shown in red. The kill zone for a two-string kite is the intersecting cell of the two X-wing corners not in the shared block as shown. Finally, we confirm we've successfully found a two-string kite by confirming all the cells participating in the pattern result in a non-possible candidate being destroyed. In this example, we have four scenarios to test. First, we test if there is an 8 in cell 6, 3. Having an 8 in cell 6, 3 means our non-possible candidate in cell 8, 3 is dead as shown with an X. The second scenario, we have an 8 in cell 8, 7 as shown. Having an 8 in cell 8, 7 means our non-possible candidate in cell 8, 3 is dead as shown with an X. The third scenario, we have an 8 in cell 5, 7 as shown. This means there's no 8 in cell 8, 7 as shown with an X. This also means there's no 8 in cell 6, 9 as shown with an X. Since there must be at least one 8 in the house making up row 6, then there must be an 8 in cell 6, 3 as shown. Having an 8 in cell 6, 3 means our non-possible candidate in cell 8, 3 is dead as shown with an X. The fourth scenario to consider is having an 8 in cell 6, 9. Having an 8 in cell 6, 9 means there is no 8 in cell 6, 3 as shown with an X. This also means there cannot be an 8 in cell 5, 7 as shown with an X. Since there is no 8 in cell 5, 7, there must be at least one 8 in the house making up column 7, then there must be an 8 in cell 8, 7 as shown. Having an 8 in cell 8, 7 means our non-possible candidate in cell 8, 3 is dead as shown with an X. As you have seen, all four scenarios resulted in our non-possible candidate in cell 8, 3 being destroyed. We removed the non-possible candidate from cell 8, 3. This may seem like a lot of work to eliminate just one possible candidate, but many times this is all it takes to blast through the rest of the puzzle. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. With this example, we will show a slightly different wrinkle than the example we just showed. Just as before, we follow the algorithm for finding our two-string kite by searching over each possible candidate. To find a two-string kite pattern, we iterate through each of the possible candidates. After searching the possible one through five candidates, we did not find any two-string kite patterns. We are now looking at the possible six candidates. With each possible candidate, we search through each row of the puzzle looking for the first half of an X-wing. We find the first half of an X-wing pattern in row 3, but there are no columns having what we need for a two-string kite pattern.
We find the first half of an X-Wing pattern in row 9 as shown with the black outline around the corner cells. Once we find our X-Wing half, we look at the two blocks containing each endpoint as outlined in red. Within the two blocks, we look for another X-Wing half sharing a corner cell in the same block but column-wise or perpendicular to the first X-Wing half we found. We immediately find the first half of an X-Wing pattern in column 1 as shown with the black outline around the corner cells. Next we identify the kill zone and target candidate to be killed. We seem to have found a two-string kite pattern. What is interesting and different about this two-string kite pattern example is the X-Wing halves do not cross each other. Also, there are three cells in the shared block 7 which we will have to take into account when validating our logic. Let's review our logic. Because of the extra cell in block 7 having a possible 6 candidate, this example will have 5 scenarios to test. The first scenario is we have a 6 in cell 2, 1. This immediately results in our target candidate in our kill zone being killed as shown with an X. The second scenario is we have a 6 in cell 9, 4 as shown. This immediately results in our target candidate in our kill zone being killed as shown with an X. The third scenario is we have a 6 in cell 8,1 as shown. Having a 6 in cell 8,1 means the other two possible 6 candidates in block 7 are non-possible as shown with X's. Having a 6 in cell 8,1 also means there cannot be a 6 in cell 2,1 as shown with an X. Because there is an X in cell 9,2, this means there must be a 6 in cell 9,4 as shown. Having the 6 in cell 9,4 means our target candidate in our kill zone is killed as shown. Our fourth scenario is having a 6 in cell 7,2. This results in a target candidate being killed as shown. Our fifth scenario is having a 6 in cell 9,2. This results in the target candidate being killed as shown. So our logic is confirmed. All five scenarios result in our target candidate in our kill zone being killed. We remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please take some time to support the Exodoku. Thank you for your support. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-Wing halves, the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-Wing halves, the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-Wing halves, the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-Wing halves, the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-Wing halves, the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-Wing halves, the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-Wing halves, 
the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-wing halves, the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-wing halves, the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the two-string kite with the highlighted candidate. Identify the two X-wing halves, the shared block, the kill zone, and a non-possible candidate to be removed. Here is the solution. This completes the Exodoku training video number 31. Thank you for watching.